What's going on everyone? I am Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC and today we are showing you the Race Frame Impact SB Roost Deflector from Fox Racing. Alright everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we are showing you the new Fox Racing Impact SB Roost Deflector. Fox actually came out with this a while ago, we're just seeing it. And if you have not seen the Race Frame lineup of Roost Deflectors, they are good. In fact, I am using the just race frame roost deflector right now. I've had it for a while. I have absolutely loved it. This thing is really, really low profile. It looks good. It's got a lot of venting. And the SB version, which stands for soft back, is the newest addition in the lineup. And what's new now is that they're using a D3O back protector in the back. But if you're looking for low profile, very comfortable, this would definitely be one that I would steer you towards. Now to give you a sizing reference, there's two sizes available. There's a small, medium, and a large, extra large. Daniel at about six feet, one inches tall, about 185 pounds, a little over 40 inch chest. He's wearing the large, extra large. And I do want to point out that the only difference between the two sizes is not in any of the plastic protection. They actually, all they do is just extend this padding, but it's right preference and that is why we have our fit guarantee if you get this if you don't like how it fits you can send it back in brand new unused condition we'll exchange the same roost reflector in a different size or for a completely different one we'll give you free shipping both ways on that first exchange and make sure you get the size and the fit that you are happy with neck brace fitment that is a popular question we get with roost deflectors like this yes if you want to wear a neck brace whether it's the alpine stars the liat the atlas all those are going to work just fine with this version now, like I said, very low profile. We start with the chest here. You've got this hard plastic. Again, a lot of cutouts to get the airflow going through. Daniel, quarter turn, lift up the right arm for me. This is your adjustment strap right here. You've got plenty of adjustability with that elastic. All right, face back to the front. Now here in the front, this is the CE version. So it is CE certified for impacts, which is nice. So there's actually, so this plastic piece on top underneath here, you have a piece of impact foam that gives it that CE certification. And if you want to, for whatever reason, you could remove that impact foam that is underneath here. But honestly, it doesn't make the roost deflector any bulkier, so I don't really see a need to remove that. So that's underneath there to make that CE certified. You do have some adjustment here with the straps on the shoulders. If I had one gripe with this, it would be that you don't get that much adjustability with these straps. They're pretty short. so. You might not have as much adjustability as you want there, but aside from that, like I said, I like everything about this. Daniel, turn and face the back for me. So in the back, this is what is new with the soft back version. They are now using the D3O back protector. This is CE certified for impacts. And what's nice about D3O is that when this warms up, it fits the shape of the back really well. It just conforms to the shape of the body. And we all know D3O Armor, it does a fantastic job that when an impact is introduced, it hardens up and it absorbs that energy really, really well. And also what I do like about this D3O, super low profile. Honestly, this setup right here being CE certified is probably the most low profile roost deflector that I have seen when you have the back protection, so phenomenal. Also, if you do want to, I've worn my like, mine like this before, is that you can take off this back protector, the D3O, and they actually have a Y strap that comes included, so you can make this backless if you want to. All right, down to turn space the front. So that is it. That is the Race Frame SBCE Roost Deflector. Very good. Low profile, comfortable. There's some other versions of this as well that you want to check out. They have just the race frame version. This right here, you're going to be, you know, up in about the 160 range. There's also just a CE certified version, which is a little bit different. Watch the spotlight on that. They also just have the race frame, which comes in right around 100 bucks. So you've got different options there depending on the price that you're looking at. But if I were going to pick one out of the whole lineup, this would be my favorite option. If you have questions or comments, we want to get those answers, so make sure to leave those below. To grab one, click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. As always, orders are 75 bucks ship free. And if you like this spotlight, you want to see more videos like this on all the gear, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell. That will keep you up to date. I'm Chase. We'll see you on the trails.